Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. So last time we discussed to replace an, or, or to place analog sensors and a very nice thing is to control the values which came from the Arduino. Therefore, and for different other applications, we have the possibility to establish a serial connection from the Arduino to the computer and from the computer to the Arduino. And it's quite easy. In the programming code, we only need, for example, these two lines. We need this in the setup, this serial dot begin. And then this number here is called a baud rate. It is a connection speed. And there are standard speeds, 9600 is a very slow one. And in our loop, we can now say serial.println and then a value, something like a variable. So let's go to the Arduino software here. And what is quite interesting for me now with the slight depending resistor we built in last time is what values does, does we get from it. And this is what I would like to see. Therefore, I write in here serial begin 9600 and after this reading of this value I would like to know what is a value and therefore here I can again write serial print line what means that each uh, value will make a new line in my output that's it I can transfer it to my Arduino board and now I can open the serial monitor. You can find this under this icon. And if I press this, and if the baud rate is the same, like the one I declared, then I can see, okay, what value do I get? And this is 960, that's not so bad. And now if I make it dark over my light sensor, I get 500 or, or 480, 70, it's not so bad, but it's even not so perfect. So this could be something what says, hey, your resistor is not the very best for that application. So now I can go and try another resistor. For example, I can change it to 10 kilo ohm. So I put out the resistor and I replace it by a 10K resistor. And now I can see, okay, I have here 650 and if it becomes darker, then it goes to down to 50. So these are more than 500 steps. So that's much better than before, right? So I will leave it like that. So this way of communication is now used just for the simple case of outputting a signal, but actually this is uh, the interface to all other software. If you would like to send signals to Arduino, then the way is over a serial signal. And in the next lesson, we will find a way how to do that. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.